we are never taking out the drinks package ever again. What? Oh. oh, should we? Stick around and let's have a talk about it. So for our next cruise, we are going to be heading on Pedo Cruises Arvia, and we can't wait. It's a long one, it's 16 nights. So we've been thinking about whether or not to go for a drinks package. Yeah. Now, based on previous experience, both times we've sailed with P&O Cruises, we've always taken out a drinks package, and it started to make us think twice. So stick around and we're gonna go through our thought process so you can decide whether or not in the future that a drinks package might be good for you or not. As we we're researching our upcoming sailing on P&O's Arvia, we we're looking into the drinks package. We've purchased them on both P&O sailings previously, which were only seven days. This is a 16 nighter, so the drinks package is then massively more than it was before. Yeah. So the total drinks package price, if we would have booked it, would have been £1,580.40. Oh, it's eye-watering. Yeah. You could get a cruise for that. Exactly. <laughs> We've done Norway sailings for less than that. So it was a big eye-opening moment. It's like, oh, are we really going to spend or even think about spending that amount of money on coffees, because they're included in the ultimate package. Mocktails, we don't really have them because it's just a lot of sugar. And then alcohol, like 1,600 pounds just in alcohol. Absolutely, yeah. it's a lot of money. I mean, if you're going on a money, literally just to relax, enjoy cocktails, and that kind of thing, we can definitely see the appeal, but for 16 nights, it's a long time. Mm. And another thing to bear in mind, of course, is we will have port days, and of that 16 night, we have six port days. So essentially, if we took the drinks package out, that would be six port days where we wouldn't be able to use the drinks package. Exactly. Now, this has caught us out in the past. Mm -hmm. So when we've done our Norway sailings, we thought, well, we'll take out the drinks package. It'll be nice to be able to indulge in some nice cocktails. But the problem is with that is that, of course, you're going to be off the ship for probably four days during the daytime. So that's quite a lot of time that you can't make use of your drinks package. Also on the flip side, especially if you're visiting somewhere like Norway and you're potentially gonna be getting up nice and early in the mornings, obviously having a drinks package, that can cause problems if you have a couple too many drinks that night before. So there are so many things to bear in mind when considering taking out a drinks package. So stick around with us and we're gonna take you through a few more factors to consider. One of the main reasons we purchased drinks packages in the past is for the convenience and the peace of mind that they tend to offer you. If you fancy a drink, you can just order one, go up to the bar and get one. No fuss, no muss. You're not worried about any big bills. On some other lines like rural Caribbean, they tend to charge service charge per drink as well if you don't have the package. Drinks packages give you that peace of mind that everything is included, as long as the drink itself is included, in that price that you've paid. Although for us, when we were looking at the total bill, knowing that the drinks package was £1,600, the convenience and peace of mind, sure convenience was there, peace of mind definitely wasn't because it was kind of the flip side. It was thinking, okay, we have to get £1,600 worth of value out of this drinks package. We need to be drinking a bottle of wine at breakfast. And that's just not really what I fancied for this particular trip. It's too long. <laughs> the other thing to consider on top of that though, is that it's not all about alcoholic beverages. So included in the vast majority of drinks packages, you do also get your coffees, yeah. most of the time excluding Starbucks, if there is a Starbucks on the cruise ship. Mm -hmm. Also water, soft drinks when you fancy it it's generally included so you can factor that in as well of course so it isn't all about booze no another really big plus of sailing with p o cruises is that you are able to take a certain amount of alcohol on board with you so you have to make sure it's in your checked luggage but you can take up to one liter of spirits with you or a bottle of champagne if you prefer so that's one thing to really factor in when considering the drinks package, because if you're gonna take something on with you and you don't plan on drinking that much, then it's absolutely worth thinking about. Exactly. The only stipulation to be mindful of is that anything you do take on board in terms of alcohol yourself, 
Um, you have to consume within your room, otherwise you do face corkage fees if you take a bottle of wine that you've brought on board into the restaurant. So just be mindful of that. Absolutely fair enough though, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We've been talking about alcohol a lot on this video so far, but it is important to note that not all drinks packages contain alcohol. p and offer four different drinks packages and we're gonna take you through them now, so stick around. So here we are on P&O Cruises official website so we can really get a good look at what the drink packages include. So firstly we've got the refresh package which at the time of recording is $10.95 per person per day. Now this only includes regular and large soft drinks on tap. Then we have the alcohol free package which is currently $24.95 per person per day and that also includes Costa coffees but only the small ones and also tea pigs teas and there are exclusions so for example that does not include drinks such as the frappes and that kind of thing but more on that I'm um, very shortly then we have the classic drinks package which is $44.95 per day now this includes a lot the main thing it doesn't include is there are exclusions on the range of cocktails there's a fair few cocktails that you're not able to get in addition you can only get single measures of spirits you can't get doubles and you can't get large glasses of wine also excluded is the craft beers and perfect serves Moving over to the deluxe package, which is currently $54.95 per person per day. From the looks of it, it includes everything. And in fairness, it does include most things. However, there are some exclusions. So if we go down here to the view full product list, it really does shed a lot more light on what is available. Now currently, the refresh package does include regular and large soft drinks on taps, such as Cokes, that kind of thing, but it also includes glasses of juice and squash, which is just small glasses of orange, pineapple, and apple juice, I'd assume from concentrate. Um, moving on, we've got the alcohol-free package. Now, on the other guide, it didn't look like it included much, but when you look at it, there's a fair few things included. So this one also includes water, mixers, also sugar-free soda, non-alcoholic drinks, such as Heineken Zero, Tankery 0% and Torres 0% wine. And it also includes some of the Costa drinks as well, the small ones, and also non-alcoholic cocktails. So on the face of it, it didn't really look like it included much, but when you look into the detail, you do get a fair selection for what you're paying. Moving over to the classic. As you can see, most things are ticked off here, but the main things to bear in mind is the extended range of cocktails. Now, there's a fair few missing um, on the classic package. So if you are into your cocktails, do have a look at the drinks menus. Um, over on cruisemummy.com, uh, they tend to have most of the drink menus on there, if not all of them. So have a good look and it does make it nice and clear which ones are available. Um, the other things, as I mentioned before, is that you can't have double spirit measures, craft beers, and also the extended range of 250 ml wines as well, and the perfect serves. Moving over to the deluxe range, now from the looks of it, it includes everything. And on the whole, yes, it is a really good package and most things are included but some things are excluded. For example, if you go down to the Amber or Emerald Bar, if you're sailing on either Iona or Avia, some of the cocktails are not included there. So do be aware of that. Now, what happens in that case if they aren't included? You do get a 20% discount on any drinks that aren't included or if you've gone over your 15 drink allowance, which every drink package carries, you do get 20% off on each drink. So do bear that in mind, uh, but most of the drinks are included, but the specialty cocktails at the Emerald Bar or Amber Bars aren't included. So don't get caught out with that. But aside from that, as you can see, they do make it as clear as possible. Um, 
as to what is included. So do have a read through this and make sure you read and digest it properly so you know what you're getting into before you actually buy your package. Now one thing to consider, especially if you want to do a cruise on a budget and you don't like particularly drinking, there are other options that are completely free. For example, there tends to be lots of drinks dispensers dotted around the ship, so be sure to take on board an empty water bottle so you can keep refilling it and have plentiful amounts of water. Also, if you head to the buffet at certain times of the day, they do offer free drinks as well. They normally offer a couple of juices, water, that kind of thing. So. It's not all about having to go on and spending a fortune for drinks. There are free options too. Exactly. I think sometimes in the evenings as well, they also offer hot chocolate in the buffet. They do. And coffees and teas as well. Yeah. And you do also get an assortment of teas and coffees in your stateroom as well. So there are other options as well. So if you are just a wine drinker and you don't think you're gonna get very good value from the drinks packages in general, what p and do offer as well is two separate wine packages. So in these options, you can pick up to between six and 12 bottles of wine that'll be ready and available for you to have during your evening meal. It's the Captain's Collection and the Commodore's Collection. We'll go through that on screen now because there are different options within, but it's a really good option if you just wanted to have a glass of wine with your evening meal without having to commit to a very expensive drinks package. So I think that's actually the option we're going for for Arvia. Yeah, I think it's definitely something we'll consider. And like we said, we are going to be going on a cruise really shortly. So what we'll do, we'll keep everyone up to date with how we get on, with the pay as you go, and maybe the wine supplement, and let you know if we beat it, basically, if we ended up spending less than what we would have done for one of the deluxe drinks packages. So make sure you click subscribe and stay tuned because we have got so much content coming to you. When looking at drinks package options, there are some really good tools out there that can help you understand if it's the right thing for you in terms of your budget and what you're looking to spend on a cruise. Cruise Mummy, for example, is a really, really helpful website and they do have within it a drinks package calculator. So you can just log into that and have a look and really quickly get a view if the drinks package is gonna be beneficial for you and for what you intend to make out of your sailing. When considering taking out a drinks package, especially with p and cruises, it's really worth thinking about what you're going to drink, especially if you are going to be drinking beers or anything like that. Because what we've learned over the years is the pay-as-you-go pricing in the bars, it's very competitive. Yeah, it's pretty good on p and it, It's pretty similar to what you'd get in, you know, a standard UK bar. It's a really good price and, you know, they don't add any gratuities on top of that. So if you plan to go on to a p and cruise and you're only going to tend to drink, you know, lagers, ales, bitters, that kind of thing, it, it really is worth thinking twice about it because you're going to have to consume a fair amount of lager and beer to make a drinks package worthwhile, especially if you go for the ultimate one. Ultimately, do your research. There's so much out there to actually look at, especially yeah. on Cruise Mummy. Use that calculator and work out if it's right for you. But I'd say as a main rule of thumb, don't take a drinks package thinking that it will definitely be the best value because a lot of the time it doesn't tend to be. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. As we've mentioned, we are gonna be cruising around the Caribbean on p Cruises Arvia. So make sure you hit subscribe, and if you've enjoyed this video, give us a cheeky like, because it really does help us. In the past, they do tend to offer promotions, like relatively frequently, really, um, on their discounts. Um, on their discounts, on their drinks packages.